Welcome to another edition of Web Chat with the Mayor. I'm Chris McMillan. Joining me as always is Woodstock Mayor Trevor Birch. Some beautiful fall weather out here in Woodstock. Oh, definitely is. So I encourage everyone to get out and enjoy the weather and go walk on one of our wonderful trails and uh, enjoy the beauty that nature has to offer at this special time of year. Absolutely. There's so much to do and see in the fall in Woodstock, really right around the whole county. You know, go to the corn mazes, all that kind of fun stuff. So we're going to get into it, though. you got a busy council meeting coming up. I understand uh, some good news. There's going to be some money handed out or allocated uh, from uh, the community grants. That's right. So we have our community grants committee, which is made up of members from the community who uh, review applications from many different uh, nonprofit groups and charities and uh, different organizations that we have within the city of Woodstock. And for this round, uh, again, this is a uh, allocation of funds that comes from the slots revenue. So uh, everybody's a winner from uh, what people lose at the slots. Um, so we have grants going out to domestic abuse services uh, of Oxford, as well as Bullwinkle's Cafe for operation sharing. And uh, that's a, a really good place to go and have lunch. In fact, I'll be going there today to have lunch. So that's on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, we're also giving out money to River of Life and Youth Quest on Dundas Street for some new programming for young people that they're introducing, as well as uh, it's that time of year with the fall. We have Woodstock Minor Football Association receiving money, and uh, Youth Unlimited uh, will be able to send 10 more young people to uh, creative arts uh, and lessons programming. So a lot of exciting things through those grants. That's excellent. Good to see money being spent and being spent for worthy causes. Got to echo Bullwinkles. I've eaten there a few times. Great establishment. Go check it out. Um, we have a big thing happening on Friday as well. So it's the dedication of the Shanna Larson Park. Can you tell us the significance of dedicating this park? Well, this is uh, the very first park in Woodstock's history that is named after a local woman. And for those of you who knew uh, her, she worked as a lifeguard at the city of Woodstock. She was very involved in the community. Her mother, a uh, long-time employee at the public health department, and she lost a battle to breast cancer at a very young age. So I've been uh, out west, I've been all over Canada, and I see the billboards uh, that promote the early detection that's coming out of Team Shan. So to dedicate this park, and it's on the north end of Woodstock in the uh, Senator Holmes development, uh, so at Arthur Parker Drive and Upper Thames Drive, at one o'clock this Friday and uh, I took the family out there for uh, a little testing of the playground equipment benches are installed there's more things coming to the park over the coming months and year more trees will be planted but in the meantime uh, there's going to be a great reception there by the family in recognition of uh, the Shauna Larson Park so hope to see as many people out on Friday at one o'clock as possible and the zip line is pretty fun all right, look forward to that. Very cool stuff. And, you know, Team Shan have done so much in our community over the last uh, um, several years. Uh, Trevor, I think that was all the questions I had for you. Was there anything you wanted to add? Well, if you tune in this Thursday night, we have a delegation from Dr. Jose Echeverri, and many in the community will be familiar with him through delegations he's had at the County of Oxford, as well as taking part in uh, many different events through the Chamber of Commerce, as well as through the Future Oxford Expo. So he is uh, one of my great academic advisors on the Smart Energy Oxford Committee, and he has been extensively traveling the world uh, talking about Oxford County and Woodstock and all the great things that the citizens are doing here to promote sustainability and renewable energy. So he's going to be giving an update to Council on a sustainability cluster and a planned renewable energy center of excellence. So that'll be very exciting to tune in 7 o'clock Thursday night. And transit is always running so you can ride the bus and come and see a Woodstock City Council meeting. Now I have to say I've spoken with Dr. H very many times and He's somebody, when he speaks, you listen. So that should be interesting as well. Thanks for joining me, Trevor, and make sure to tune in next time for another edition of Web Chat with the Mayor.